Hi to everyone, this is a very fun tutorial, more technical than something interesting, but I can't find the ASCII techniques in Cinema 4D tutorials in YouTube, maybe I was bad in searching, but what we have as an input, an animation of wolf dancing, I'm using the standard render. I hope you see this meme. Let's go into viewport, animate preview. Very fun, but I think it would be more fun when we add uh, symbols. We need the symbols. Let's create text and immediately set the font type to Korea. As I remember, it's called monotype font because every symbol is having and spacing the same as others. So we would have a perfect grid. Now we go into basic, right click, expression, set driver, into the name, and in text plane, animation, or expression, set driven absolute. What the best in this approach? We can hide this or delete the plane is that now if we type any letters here it immediately drops to text plane we need to make a bunch of them to have a lot of variety for our ascii graphic and besides letters i would like to add some symbols because they will be the the dark or create more darker appealing than the huge letters so we need this crosses pluses and other elements here i think it would be enough just for now creating clone render instance going here and setting the spacing I think we need more in vertical and horizontal not into the z-axis maybe 140 let's check do we have any overlapping in vertical yes we have here and to get this perfect grid we need to find out the value so do not have any overlay great one go into camera extending the quality quantity i'm sorry the same here drop our texture going to maybe flat selecting the uv we need to change the uv section for this I occasionally switch to another layout selecting the material tag and we need to click like fit to object something strange going back to instance once again fit to object and now we have proper aligning of our flat projection. Going back to render instance, that should be okay. So we have our wolf here. The next thing, we're adding a shader and trying to set scale minus one. In shading, we said like not custom shader, but color, because we have this wall with texture is loaded to color dropping here this thing and immediately we see that our wolf is cut it from other elements we see it dance great one great one but we need another option go into parameters disable scaling use alpha strength we don't need this too 
to hide the contrast and we need to add a modify clothes. And immediately you see that we have the changing of the symbols. Now we can change the order and to put elements that should be relative to the dark to the top and other elements would be go to the white. Let's render great one. We can put our tag to shader and everything would be perfectly working. Also, I think we disable color mode because I want all symbols to be very bright. And now you see this funny look. Loading. I need an IPR here. Lowering the quality to speed up the speed of updating. In color, I will add a colorize effect to contrast to add more contrast to the source image. You see, the more I move the left marker to the right, the more we have these dots that are relative to the dark position. I think it's too much, maybe a little bit like this, and I want to expand the white points. Because we have now in body only few letters, we don't have A, B, C, D, only this middle section. Increasing the contrast. And now it looks even I, K and etc. And it's up to you how to manage this thing, because if we add too much in this white, we will lose a lot of details. So something in between. Of course, it's not the perfect source file, but I think it would be pretty okay. Let me disable saving, standard render, all frames, and render to picture view. It works very fun, and we see this equal need will directly dancing based on our images that I use as source file. I have problems now that I have a frame rate 30 and in project 77 frames, because if we go to project settings, Ctrl D, we have only 10 FPS, and it's up to you how settings would you pick for export i kept the default so that's how it looks the beautiful 10 fps animation is moved to 30 fps and we have this beautiful dancing wolf made of ascii symbols that's all i hope you get a lot of fun by watching this video and now you know how to create this beautiful and very funny animation without any plugins in Cinema 4D. I was using 2024, but this technique, I think, relative to all Maxon releases for the last 10 years where we have this shader effect. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Bye.